hi guys I just want you to know that now you can join my channel uh, on your PC we were meant to create sometimes our desires to create are blocked spiritually mentally emotionally or even physically and this prevents us from reaching our highest aspirations if you are an entrepreneur or you would like to become one and you're in need of some sage advice and direction, then you're in the right place. As a successful entrepreneur, spiritual guide, and intuitive business coach, I can offer you the clarity and support you need to find success and reach your goals. With decades of experience as a trusted tarot card reader, a franchise owner, my practical and spiritual approach to entrepreneurship will help you reach your full potential as an established business owner. Whether you're struggling with making tough decisions or simply trying to find your path in life, I can help you learn the tools you need to create your business dream. Take some time today and schedule your free consultation with me so that we can begin to make your business dreams a reality. Hi Cancer, it's Elle here to do um, your Mercury Retrograde reading. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It means a lot. Please continue to do so. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. Let's get into it. Thank you, God, for blessing cancer with a clear, concise message from you. Keep in mind with Mercury retrograde. Okay, so things are going backwards. People are thinking about past or back things or backwards. They're thinking backwards. Um, so you may get messages from people from your past or this is the feeling that you have. You want to go backwards. You want to relive. You want to revive. This is the energy. Mercury is the winged messenger. So it's about fast messages maybe coming into you, you that going out to you or messages that you're giving to someone. So this is a time where it's just about uh, backwards or uh, past, you know, so let's see what is going on for you, cancer. What is happening for cancer? Okay. Yeah. Decisions. You need to make some decisions. So you need to cut out something maybe in regards to your sobriety. So this could have everything to do with, um, how you eat, how, what you drink. Um, maybe in your decisions, you need to make a clear decision, clear mind, uh, clear heart, clear mind, clear conscience. Um, Maybe you feel as if uh, you need to clear some things up or someone feels this way about you or they took you for granted and maybe they want to come back and clear some things up. You want to apologize. Um, maybe you are engaging in some sober thinking or some sobriety or you need to. Um, this is the advice or this is the advice for someone around you or, or a person from your past. Uh, you know that this person needs to make a decision here. They need to make a clear one or this is you. Let's see what's going on. What else is going on here for you? Yeah, new exercise program. So it's like you need to exercise something new in your life. Doing the same old thing, getting the same result is getting you nowhere. Um, and this is what you could be telling somebody else or this is what, you know, the advice that you need to take. It's about a new exercise program. This could be literal. Like you need to get out there. You need to move your body. You need to uh, get around. You need a heart healthy. Uh, do some cardio. So these cards just fell onto the floor. Uh, keep in mind that you are stronger than you know. You can get through something. You could be dealing with a Leo here. You can say what you need to say. You can um, actually do what you need to do. Your emotions might get, be getting in a way in regards to maybe um, saying what you need to say. Your ego could be getting in a way. Your pride could be getting in a way. Or this is someone else. They really have something to say to you. It's like, they, yeah, they want to take the next step now and say something to you, do something with you or for you. But it looks like ego. Pride is in the way. Uh, end of an era. So an era, an era of uh, the end of something that you were doing for an extended amount of time. Maybe you overstayed uh, your welcome in something or in a relationship or in a job or something is ending here. 
okay? Um, or somebody's feelings for you are ending. Maybe they used to run red hot for you, passionate for you, or vice versa. This is how you felt, but now it's ending. Something has ended or, in, yeah, somebody's run into sentimental feelings. Leftover residual feelings. They don't really feel as hot and passionate as they used to feel about the relationship as um, maybe they just kind of feel indifferent, maybe a little bit, uh, you know, uh, they don't know how they feel. They could be in between, they could be a little gray uh, here. Uh, this also could be even indicative of you or someone else being um, depressed or depressive thoughts or somebody just can't get themselves out of a funk or out of an emotional funk here. Let's see. Yeah, dietary change, you might need to change your diet, change what you're eating, your intake. That kind of was um with sobriety kind of piggybacks off of that. It's like if you change maybe what your intake is, then you're going to see something clearly. Your intake in terms of um, maybe drug and alcohol use and then also what you're eating, what you're putting in your body. You're going to be able to think clearly, feel differently. You're going to be able to make those steps, those moves, take the next step that you need to take or this is for someone else. Dietary change. It talks about veganism, vegetarianism, pescatarianism, or just talks about moderation. Maybe you only eat meat on certain days. Maybe you only eat bread on certain days. I don't know. This just talks about a dietary change. When you change your diet, you'll see that, you know, you feel different. Your vibration is different. Whatever it may be, you may even be cutting out dairy. Um, again, leaving toxic. This card literally says leaving toxic situations behind. So that could be a relationship. It can be toxicity and again, what your intake is, you just uh, not taking care of yourself. It's just like you're really gonna put yourself first and that's the only way that you're gonna be attracted to anyone else or, or someone else or to just anyone else, you know, attracted to yourself. or it, You're gonna feel better about self. Wow, you're gonna be able to welcome the new. Keep in mind that you have support of the heavens. Support is coming in to you. Maybe money owed. Uh, support of a family member, support of a uh, ex husband, uh, wife, uh, you have support here. You have support to make the necessary changes that you need to make for yourself. All right, let's see what else. Some of you need to heal from the past. You might even need to sit with a therapist, um, someone who can help analyze what's going on with you so that you can move forward because you've got some decisions to make and it's all surrounded maybe who you are surrounding, what you are eating, what your intake is, what you're thinking. It's about sober and clear thinking, eating, living all together, healthy lifestyle. It could be you, it could be another person. Let's see what else is going on here for you, Cancer. A gift is being um, given to you, 17. Uh, this could even be a declaration of love by maybe the next holiday um, or maybe even a proposal. Let's see, expectation. You could be expecting someone to reach out to you or someone is expecting you to reach out to them. Uh, thief. So it's just like maybe somebody is expecting you to be a liar or they're, or you're expecting them to be a liar. Once they do reach out to you, you're expecting ulterior motive. You have to um, kind of question why this person is showing back up. This is Mercury retrograde. So it looks like maybe somebody's showing back up and trying to gift you something or say something to you. Um, you could be expecting this though. Maybe your intuition has talked to you about this. Yeah, somebody wants to come in from out of the cold, but they're coming in under false pretense. They're not coming in, you know, real. Um, they're not coming in honest. They're coming in as a false person. They're coming in with a mask on. They're not really telling you what they're doing or what they're about or what they want. You could be dealing with the Leo. You could be dealing with uh, an Aquarius. You could be dealing with anybody here. Um, we've got mature man and mature woman. So maybe this was a relationship that you guys were in for a while. This could be two people over the age of 35. Um, these are two people who are very wise in their own, in their own way. Uh, this is two people who is a very cerebral relationship is a very thought provoking. Um, maybe you like this person's conversation. You like what they have to offer. They could be the oldest person that you've ever dealt with. Um, let's see journey. Somebody could be getting away from you though. Someone's moving away or you're moving away from someone. 
Someone is journeying or on a different path here, maybe in their occupation or somebody's occupied with something else, uh, maybe another relationship. Again, self-employment. Uh, somebody just doesn't uh, have time for it. Someone doesn't want to piece together a relationship. They want a real relationship. They want something whole, true. There's a man here who's thinking about a woman. He uh, is thinking about her because there is separation. Uh, maybe they didn't see eye to eye. Let's see what else is going on here. Somebody's thinking about what they can do to maybe bait someone into an argument, into pettiness, peskiness. Someone is also thinking about if somebody will sign like a prenuptial agreement or something of that nature, or is it really over? Yeah, or is it really over? Someone's thinking about is it is the relationship really over? Okay, so we've got our last two cards, fall, three cards falling on the floor. Yeah, someone's thinking about, okay, has this other person chosen someone else or are they choosing someone else? Your person could be thinking this way about you or you them. Somebody wants you to hear them out. They could feel like it's a third party situation at this point that there is another man or another woman in uh, the mix here. And that's why you feel indifferent. Yeah, that you're in another relationship, main, main male, main female. Um, so somebody's like, you know, even if we wanted to come back together, it's too much that has happened or you got somebody else now or how do I, uh, how do you, how does that work? Or how can I come back to you when you're already in another relationship? There could have been somebody running from one relationship to another. There could be somebody already married. There could be somebody here who, yeah, they're in a layered connection. They already are married. Then they have like a girlfriend or a boyfriend on the, you know, the outside of the marriage. Mercury can't make it up. Communication. Somebody could be communicating with you. Someone from your past. They're trying to revive, relive this. This could be what you're doing also. It's just like, um, it's coming fast. It's coming quick. Keep in mind, Mercury is in retrograde. So everybody's thinking about the past and it's coming back up but think about when mercury goes direct people will be thinking about the future and what's best for them in the future the near future the extended future so will people think the same that's why it's best to not make decisions in regards to love during mercury retrograde because you aren't thinking there's not forward thinking there's backward thinking ascend it can't make it up outlook worldview mission statement expression someone wants to express themselves completely uh, I don't think they are because ego here. Yeah, the 11th house could be dealing with maybe an Aquarius, someone who is a friend or a good friend, someone um, who is creative, a humanitarian, someone who's a rebel, the future. Yeah, maybe you could be thinking about you see a future with this person or they see one with you. Someone is trying to think about the future, but at the same time, they're trying to regain or recover something in the now. Um, Gemini, the butterfly, it's like somebody is of two minds. Like they want to stay married or they still want to stay in this old lifestyle or this, uh, other relationship, but they also want this other relationship. It's like somebody is, um, the twin double minded, um, Aries, someone could have Aries in their chart. This could be who you're dealing with. Someone is cold. Um, this is somebody who is assertive. This is a macho man. This is somebody who wants what they want, argumentative, maybe even impulsive. Somebody who makes, you know, decisions maybe with, um, with their feelings or they make emotional decisions here. Let's see. The second house. Um, someone is trying to figure out the moon in the second house, feminine energy masculine energy oh somebody's trying to figure so a, a, a masculine could be trying to figure out the feminine's energy how does she feel about him is she over him uh cancer someone could be trying to figure that out in regards to you also they're trying to figure out if you're just after them for the money a masculine could be trying to figure out is it is it just the money the aesthetics or do you really have feelings for me yeah somebody's like really wanting to have sex with somebody here with Scorpio coming out. Scorpio could be significant. Let's see what the, the tarot, tarot has to say here. Um, it looks like somebody is also thinking about the sex, the animalistic side of this relationship. Like maybe I can get this person back if I just have sex with them. The emperor, uh, Aries coming out again, could be an older man who wants the high priestess, a woman who's not paying him any attention is not talking to him. The Eight of Pentacles. Maybe she's given a lot of tries, a lot of opportunity to make it right, to make something real out of this relationship. 
if someone is um, now kind of withdrawn, not doing anything, not making any movement. This is a silent retreat. Uh, the Eight of Pentacles here. Someone is thinking about somebody over and over and over and over again. Maybe trying to penetrate their energy, trying to get them to reach out. Um, someone also could be suffering in silence, a cycle. This could be you. Cancer it could be someone else. King of Wands, a male Cancer, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. Yet somebody's becoming very passionate. Maybe rage, you know, very animalistic, really desiring this person. You know, um, this person, this King of Wands wanted to keep options open. Again, we have somebody who was in two different relationships. It's like somebody wasted the other person's time or was wasting the other person's time or youth. The Four of Swords. It's like somebody knows that this is just um, a last ditch effort. Like this, this relationship is very testy or it's make it or break it time. This can really fall apart. Someone thought that the, the separation would be temporary, but no, this could literally be um, forever. It could be over. Yeah, King of Swords could be dealing with a, a Libra. Someone could have taken a break from you, uh, Cancer, or vice versa. Or this is what you're doing. There's a King of Swords here who thought maybe they could be ambitious and recover uh, the relationship whenever they wanted to. This was also somebody here wanting to be the eternal bachelor, do what they wanted to do, come off how they wanted to come. The King and the King of Swords and the King of Wands together. This is somebody who just wanted to be independent. You know, they wanted to have relations. They didn't want to have relationships. They didn't want to maintain anything. This is somebody who wanted to be in and out. They wanted relations on their terms. This is the King of uh, Swords here. Is somebody, again, maybe even a, a little bit narcissistic, maybe even, um, I'm hearing like a uh, militant, uh, military uh, willing to do battle over their independence asserting themselves this is somebody here who just really wanted you know uh, relationships on their terms and they may have fallen in love with somebody page of pentacles somebody could be even coming back with a, uh, an apology a token uh, of how sorry they are a small gift um, someone could even be saying the words that they're gonna be more consistent healthy this is also healthy living um, somebody here needs to be healthy they need to get more healthy. They need to look into health, a health regimen and be consistent with it. The 10 of cups, it could be a masculine energy that needs to do this with the 10 of cups. It looks like, um, fortune after difficulty. It looks like, uh, there's a man who's in love with a woman here. Um, he's not speaking it or he doesn't feel comfortable enough to share, divulge his love or just really be honest uh, with the Ten of Cups. It looks like um, somebody's hiding behind a mask, acting happy in whatever else that they do. This could be somebody who drinks excessively. The Four of Pentacles. Yeah, somebody's holding in their true feelings. Out, of, I heard self-pity, unresolved uh, childhood trauma, uh, deep-seated issues, domination, trying to assert themselves. I'm trying to um, put their will on someone else. Somebody's in some stuck, toxic relationship or someone wants to continue on. The Queen of Swords, it looks like, yeah, Queen and King of Swords. Two people have, um, there's distance, time between these two people. Um, every time they come back together, it's about it's calculated or it's calculation or the other person feels like they have to have the jump on the other person. Um, you have to watch what you say because what you're saying and, uh, it, it's going to be scrutinized or scrutiny. Um, somebody could be saying that they're done with maybe toxicity, the six of pentacles. It's like maybe the power dynamic has shifted the 10 of wands. When so, okay. So when it looks like, uh, yeah, Somebody's in a place of wondering at this time. I just don't even know where they're going. It is kind of just like floundering around and wondering. They're on this emotional journey, roller coaster, and they don't know where they're going to land. They're despondent, checked out of other relationships. It's because they want one particular person to come out and play, deal with them, come back. This could be cancer, you to someone else or someone to you. They want you to come back. They don't want you to be in a place of, of being done, uh, being cut off. 
uh, if you live with this person or if you're still married to this person, it looks like you guys have taken time apart. There's space. There's time. There's not even sexual activity. It's just maintaining a relationship out of the fact that maybe there are children involved, assets of some sort. Uh, somebody is getting a little bit frisky. Somebody is going to fly into a rage or, you know, unleash. Emperor coming out again. This could be an older man. This is somebody who's militant, military, policeman. Uh, the emperor, I heard sheriff. Um, this is also someone here who feels like they have the power, the upper hand. They don't concede. They don't come to you come to the emperor. This is somebody who has a big ego, larger than life. Um, this is someone who feels like they built up themselves. Therefore they shouldn't have to step off the throne. Whomever this is, this is somebody again, king of wands can't make this up. We're getting the same cards in the different deck now. This is somebody who is uh, desiring some woman here, um, but she's not budging. She's not moving. She's not coming to him. Um, she's focused on something else. Let's see what else. What's the advice here? Five of pentacles in reverse. Somebody wants to come out of being separated. Also come out of feeling used or abused. Those who are strong in their self-worth never feel used because you know what you're going to have to give to every situation because you're strong in your self-worth. You're strong in knowing that something is going to be required of you. The cancer, the chariot card, that could be you. Come out of feeling used, abused. Understand that maybe this was four of swords. Come out of uh, heal. Okay. Also heal. Think of a plan for the future. Think of how you can get what you want. Move forward. Step into your power. Maintain control over your emotions and your thoughts. You could be dealing with a Libra. This person can be putting you on a back burner or they're acting like you aren't driving the bus when you really are. This person's acting like they, you, they don't really need you when they really do. The Ten of Wands putting a lot of work on you. The Eight of Swords putting you in a mental fog where you feel like you can't move forward or like you're stuck or you're waiting for them to reach out to you or um, divulge something to you or tell you that they love you or whatever it is. I don't know. It's just like you're waiting for this person. The two of pentacles. It's like you're waiting for them to change or they're waiting for you to change. The page of swords spying on one another, spying on someone via the tarot. Someone could be waiting for somebody to, again, waiting for someone to change, but I don't think it's coming. The Ten of Cups with the Five of Cups. It's just like somebody would rather act happy than actually go after their happiness. Yep. This is what I have for you, Cancer. If it resonates, let me know how it resonates down in the comment section. Looks like you got a messy situation where somebody's stuck in ego. This could be you, could be the other person. Somebody is not getting what they want because of the inability to change, the inability to really go within and uh, do the self-care, self-healing work. There's somebody here new who needs to... Um, go into sober living, sobriety, make um, clear choices, decisions about their life. This is what I have for you. Go over to the website, book your own reading, just like this one. Readings are 40% off. Use code 40 off at checkout. You can also connect with me if you're a business minded individual and you want to get on a discovery call where we can talk about how I can help you in your business. And um, also if you're a business minded individual and you want to connect with like minded uh, person, you can sign up for the KTMG, keep the momentum going monthly conference call. Uh, the link is below, uh, each and every month you get valuable spiritual and practical advice about how to either start, maintain or grow your business. Okay. So go ahead and take advantage of that. Keep in mind that I'm live every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday night at 9 30 PM Eastern standard time. Thank you. Many blessings to you.